his class. Coming soon on social medias, it's S class. Of <laughs> So what do you label like a bottle of chibuku? Uh, like a bucket. <laughs> to my nature, I criticize on social media. Yeah, I'm think I think I'm good at that when it comes to social media. That's why I really like spending most of my time in social media. Mendoza. Coming soon on social medias, it's S Class. Good evening, I'll have the viewer. Welcome back to S Class. <clears throat> so, today on S Class, we're discussing about employment of green people in Uganda and also our education curriculum. But today on the panel, I have Vanessa, a student from Kavanshi University. I have Lawrence, a student from Makere, a student leader, and also Mali, a group who stays in Nagoya. Um, before we go further, I will first want to introduce themselves and tell us more about themselves. So let's start from the ladies first, Vanessa. Yes, my name is Abhi Vanessa, a student from Cavendish University, Uganda. I'm yeah. doing my bachelor's degree from Big Four. That's all. Okay. Um, I'm Moise Biafalawa. I'm a third year student of psychology. I'm a student of Makerere and uh, I represent uh, students uh, Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Um, I'm Joshua Mande uh, from Soroti, the region. I uh, stay within Nambulu. I'm so happy to be here to, to share some issues with my fellow you. I'm so glad. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Mande and everyone. Before we go further, remember this class runs every single Friday of the week and discuss the same thing that affects you. Today, like I told you, there are discussions about the education system and also employment opportunities for youth in Uganda. Before you go further, I'd like to ask you from Mali, what do you think about employment for youth in Uganda? Before, let us begin from education. What do you think about education curriculum in Uganda? Well, uh, to my research and my understanding, our curriculum in Uganda today there is a way it has played a part as far as the employment is concerned because it is what we go through to come out into the fields of employment. So we find that the curriculum which the government uses, in most cases, we need to focus like in government programs basically because that's where the curriculum is fully implemented. Uh, the curriculum is a bit deviated from the current situation which we have. Uh, when you focus on the, the UPE and the USE programs, uh, there is a difference. Someone is passed out at the end of the primary living examination. You see the, the performance of, of, the, of these pupils mm -hmm. and you see the performance of these students of all level and HSC. You find that there is incompetence. These students are not uh, logic enough to think, uh, to have that critical thinking as needed because the curriculum, it is just only to make them pass the examination. They are not creative, they are not uh, quick learners because the population, first of all, it is too much. So now you find that this curriculum it is a bit deviated from the current situation in the way that once someone is brought out to a field of work, someone doesn't have the skill, basically. Yes, yeah, someone can have the theory to think, but to do something hands-on, if someone doesn't have. So we find that from that point of the curriculum, people only are full of theory, but they don't have the practical aspect. Now, with the current competition which we have, we find that people, these graduates from government institutions, yes, they can have the general knowledge, but the practical aspects, 
let us first discuss primary, the primary part of it. The primary part of it? Yeah. The primary part of it, like, do you think it shapes a person to join secondary and this person is focused on what you're mm, not really, not okay. really. Yes, because we have always seen the performance of government schools. If you, if you have look at the primary level examination, when the students are out, mm -hmm. you find in a district only three or five can get into Division One in the whole district. Now, when you you ask this yourself, is that I will discuss? Sorry, this is that. No, like my region generally, I, I can't be shy of it. In our region, the school, uh, the, the school can have about 150 students and can all come almost in 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 third grade. You find second grade can come only 10 or 20. But the rest can all fall in third grade. So we find in the total performance of the district, and mm. number of the district, mm. we find only not more than 10 in first grade. Yeah. Now, if you have to... Money, if I may pose the last idea to, to Lawe. Mm. Lawe, government has tried so hard to put up UPE, which is, I, I think, is playing a very big role when it comes to education. You think UPE, apparently, it's helping people or it doesn't help people? Um, thank you so much. I, I think it would be denied for me to say that it is not healthy. Mm. Uh, but just you know, to have a recap on what he says, mm. you know, when he says that you know you have a district a region producing only ten people in mm. first grade and um, the fact that people who live second before all level mm. do not have the knowledge. But you see, I, I would not entirely blame this on, on the curriculum itself. Mm. I, I think even if you had the best curriculum, if, if, if the, you don't have a good environment mm. at the end of the day, you still have the same cases. If you still have schools in those regions mm. that you know they teach once and a week, uh, teachers teach from the morning and after they go to the garden, if you have conditions where they sit under trees, you know, even if you had the best curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, you still have the same level. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> UPE has to some extent has helped, but you see how much has government, you know, put in to ensure that, you know, UPE schools, much private schools, especially the urban areas, you're going to realize that, you know, you know, the quality of students from UPE is not good because government has not done enough to produce the quality. But then going back to the curriculum, I, I, I think Uganda has, is good. I, I think it is good. However, <coughs> it's not good all around. That is why you find that Uganda produces a base doctors, we can even export uh, you know, and we have areas where we are really good at. But then there are also areas where I think the curriculum has, has failed, yeah. especially uh, engineering. Because you see, we are, we are going to come here and run and say, why well, we have Chinese? Doing everything, mm -hmm. and the argument will be that Uganda does not have engineers good enough, you know, to carry out. So that, that is why it goes back to the curriculum. So you know, is it, does it produce the best? Even if they go to the best university mm -hmm. or best school, do they match the requirement in the labor market? Mm -hmm. um, two, I, I think our curriculum from down is not flexible. I mean, uh, you, you may have ended your P7 in, in 2003, I ended mine in 2010, but it was the same thing about the same I think what that tells us is that <coughs> there is no flexibility, mm -hmm. there is no updating. But you realize that the job environment changes every day. So why doesn't the curriculum uh, you know, change to suit the prevailing circumstances outside the day? Like I was, I was sharing with you, I, I personally sit on, on the university senate. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, where the university makes policies, academic policies, and they change courses, they add courses. Mm -hmm. So you realize that at university there is flexibility. Mm -hmm. They change courses to suit you know, the market. But, but you see, how about the down? Because we have people uh, from primary we study the same thing. Mm -hmm. And two, I also think, you know, I, I got this thing of doing history compulsory when I am you know, I, I, I'm a scientist. I don't find it necessary. I think some things need to change. There needs to be flexibility. Let's look to Vanessa. Vanessa, what will you say about our issue when it comes to primary level? According to me, the primary level is not flexible. Mm. Uh, it's not flexible. Mm. Uh, it's not flexible. It's missing something. <coughs> What's missing? It's good because I personally, it helped me to where I am right now. Mm. 
Yes, and some other people because you had your visa in 2010, right? Mm -hmm. I too. Mm -hmm. It helped you some bit, right? Mm -hmm. But there is something lacking. Imagine a P7 student who does the science, English, mathematics, and SST, social studies. Imagine such a student getting out of school, failing all those four subjects completely. What their parent says, you're stupid. Yeah, that's what parents say. Those parents who have not attended school, know, know nothing about education, they say you're stupid. Imagine such a kid, they grew up knowing they're stupid, but imagine if that curriculum had something like carpentry, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. had some skills, had something smaller, somebody can start building on that. Maybe they can be like, you failed your primary examination, mm -hmm. but at least you can so, start from so here. we should add in hands-on Yes, we should add in the practical bit. bit, we should add in the skills bit. Mm -hmm. Some people are talented. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may find somebody really talented, somebody can play their football, somebody can play that ball, somebody can do volleyball, all that. Yeah? Yeah. But if they are not trained from that young level, because primary is the, is the base, mm -hmm. is the foundation. The foundation. Yes, mm -hmm. a primary school gives the child everything. If you take your child to a primary school that's not really good, they grew up maybe speaking words, proper English, mm -hmm. things like that. But if you take them to a good school, get those skills, mm -hmm. encourage them, train them, you may find somebody's not like so bright, but they can do something. But I feel like Uganda something that's unbalanced. If you look at those people who are in primary and they are in UBE, mm -hmm. and you, you can't compare them with those ones who are in private schools. Yes. And it's time reaches a private school, they say that they can so what do you say about that? Yeah, like about that, I think it's government lacking there. Because many schools in the city, mm -hmm. they're either private, maybe to some government. extent government aided, mm -hmm. to some extent. So most schools, you find city parents, those big schools, mm -hmm. Greenview, they're all private schools. Mm -hmm. Where the rich people only take their kids. Mm -hmm. So imagine somewhere in the village, the government put their like UPE school, mm -hmm. there are no teachers, no salary, nothing like that. But imagine if government gets those teachers, takes them to those UPE schools, pays them well, gets them accommodation, puts the infrastructure. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. They'll give the results. So I think it's government lacking to some extent. Let us look at the money. Yes, you want to say uh, I've heard from Vanessa. Yeah. She has said something. But uh, the fact that there are you're always like in a teaching profession we have uh, competences there is what we call uh, we have speaking we have writing mm -hmm. listening and reading so you find that in in government schools we don't really practice this and those are the main things which bring out people what is not practiced all, all, you see all the things because at the end of p7 a child doesn't have complete English and have to speak to someone and exchange words with anybody. Mm -hmm. That's already uh the no, like, like private private government. No, government. No, no, no. We, are, we, we are seeing where the mistake is. Mm -hmm. I think in in, in the in government schools this this curriculum, yes it is there, but uh, it's not all all held properly and uh, finished. Because even just listening when you put a child from a government school in front of there, and a child from a uh, private school, from a private school, somewhere in Kampala. Yes, <laughs> not only in Kampala. Let's focus on a private school. Yeah. Yes, put them in the same desk and just have a look at them like this. They, just, just their faces. You see a house. Yes. No. A person with a critical mind mm -hmm. and a creative mind. You can see from the eyes. These are children who are totally shy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very shy. Those are from, from, from government. They can't speak. They can't even write. Let me tell you the fact is, even in P7, mm -hmm. at the end of the PLE, someone can only write her name or his name. Right. Now come down to questions. Understanding the problem. Framing the answers. Yes, the answer might be that, but the concept of writing that answer mm -hmm. is a problem. That is now listening is a fail. Reading itself, it is, it, it, it is gambling. A child can only read a question and they pick a, the main one, but other words which might be logical mm. can't be understood by the child from a government school. That means the curriculum is not seriously handled in a government school. 
That's why you see that these private schools do very well and they say they teach exam. Because these competencies are properly held. Reading, writing, listening, and speaking. That's what how yeah, that's how I think our curriculum is in balance. Does the list go yes. back to where the person is coming from, the family? Uh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Mm -hmm. It goes back because sometimes they all come from different backgrounds. Yeah. Mm. Come from somewhere, I somewhere. Everybody from some other different yes. kind of thing. <laughs> And imagine a student, mm. okay, imagine two UPE students mm -hmm. from the village, in the same village with the same UPE school, mm -hmm. with different parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You find they are both UPE students. One kid has a family, maybe the parents never went to school completely, mm -hmm. and they even don't buy the idea of going to school. Mm -hmm. They're like, we're just wasting our time there. We're just taking you there because everybody's going there. Mm -hmm. Then you find another UPE student, but the, the mother is like, my child, you read, you, you get a better future, you have somewhere in life, you be somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Those kids can be different, trust me. You know why? Mm -hmm. that, that one kid want the esteem and be like, I can make it maybe. But this other one would be like, yeah, even my mother, what was, and if the curriculum had something in it, like no skills, mm -hmm. somebody can be like, yeah, okay. If I feel here, I People can do agriculture. People can do those certain things you do in class, but you don't get the practical. Yes, sir. No, thank you so much. But mm -hmm. this, you see, my point is much on, you know, does our education address you know, the needs in society? Mm -hmm. uh, now, the, the issue of language, I, I, in my all of us, you know, are from you know, Western Uganda, and mm -hmm. you know, I came to Central, you know, these good schools, and you know, we, we had that accent. And you know, it, it, but, but my, my point is that even when we are there, at least on our phone, mm -hmm. I, I don't have much of a problem with the language itself. So, mm -hmm. You know, as long as are you an engineer, can you do this? Mm -hmm. okay. so, so my thinking, like, you know, she talks about talent. In, 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 in England or in the West, mm -hmm. you know, football starts around three and six years. Mm -hmm. That is how they become professionals. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, but we don't have the same here. That is why Fresh Kid is going to sing, and the minister is going to say, first go to school, you do this when you call it. But you know, people have made it in life when they are artists. So, so what I'm thinking is that, you know, the curriculum should accommodate at least so, you know, respect talent and, and give, because people have made it in life. You know, we can talk of, you know, names, we can talk of Messi, but it's worth millions of dollars and, and uh, way well. You know, this is talent. You know, you can be a doctor when you are not earning more than, you know, fifty thousand dollars in your entire career. You get that. You know, artists are making it. So, would it be flexible? I, I think not Africa, but Uganda is still, you know, in that uh, post-colonial period. We have refused to get out of there. We are too comfortable there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if government is afraid of, you know, getting stepping out of the waters and, you know, exploring. Yeah, because it's so that. It's sad as they go. But we have international schools here. We have international schools here. Yes, we have international schools. But you see, you see, okay, most of them actually don't follow, you know, the the culture about the and all that. And if you go around those schools, you find the sports. You know, you know, even the kind of teaching is because you find, you know, projectors and everything. So. Well, I understand the young doesn't have finances. I would not push them to have the best classrooms. What but at least let the curriculum and be better. Let them be flexible. Rather than what you're yes. saying, mm -hmm. even is lacking maybe something. What's that? And I think it's some bit of career guidance. But still, it's not career guidance. Very mm -hmm. mm -hmm. true. Very true. You know why? Mm -hmm. People come from primary mm -hmm. when they really don't know what they want to be in life. They just school. Yes. They told my parents, they, I go to school because my parents take me to school. Mm -hmm. They told the kid, what, what, yes, yes. what do you want to do? And they're like, Daddy bought me. Mm -hmm. You wonder, mm -hmm. you get. Yeah. But if there was that career thing, mm -hmm. somebody can grow up knowing who you want to be this. They would evolve their passion, they would evolve their love, they would mm -hmm. evolve everything. And it will bring them. So what you mean, like, and you go to school without no. any focus as well as going to school? Because, because you, should, you think you should go to school. You see. Yeah. And mm. nothing about the talent. Not everyone is bright. 
not everyone's bright, right? Mm -hmm. But you can find somebody, somebody is talented somewhere, everybody is talented in their own way, but people don't realize it. So somebody can grow up with a like, hmm, man, I don't have a talent. Because it's no wonder. in our system, nobody identifies yes. that. Yes. 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 If you have a talent, because of course, you are supposed to go to school, you go to play football. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's why the career guidance bit is always needed in school. The career guidance, but you say, I don't decide for you, or your parents decide no. for you. Yes, they decide for you. But that's the real guidance bit helps you know who you really are. Beautiful. You believe in yourself. You get the self esteem, and you're like, yeah, I can really do that. I think it's really, really big to the community. There's something if you are not seeing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm proud to be uh, a person who went to the government education mm -hmm. from, from, from my plan and did. So you're the ones benefiting from our. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to, to bring up what I experienced. Mm. We are trying to, to see all these skills and everything. Mm. But even this what we are talking about, sports and music, we have in the country. Mm. So now there is what we don't have. We are all after passing the examination. Mm. We have look at PLP, we have examination of of, of music, we have uh, exam of art. Because from from, from primary one there is a modeling, they make uh, the chairs, they make marks, but there is a, a problem where the government comes in is this, this is skills discovery is left in the lower primary. You find by, by them you rich people, you stop doing your things. That is where the problem is. Because if I continue making these chairs, I continue making these marks up to P7, do you think I can forget that skill? To be, to, to be sincere, we have music. We have music, we dance in school, yeah. we have sports, we run, we, they always see every time we have uh, athletics, is it in the first time? Athletics is there, but it's just like yes. sport watching. Yes. We see it's like a competition. Yeah, it's like a competition. Yeah, yeah. 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 nobody talks about it after the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You see, that's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. In, in government schools, uh, these issues are there, but what only government has done in this state is to leave the things behind in the lower primary, by the time you reach before, the things are all dropped down. Let me say something on that. Mm -hmm. You see, what is what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see, we are talking about impactful things. Mm -hmm. You know, the sport we have is, is for leisure. Mm -hmm. You get it yes. is not it is not focused. Mm -hmm. Two, the schools that perform that the schools, the especially the private schools. Mm -hmm. I, I I went to a school in A level, performance very well. But a government school or a or private school, a private school. Let me let me go. Uh, in terms of sports or in terms of academics. <laughs> yes, in terms of academics. But the only sport there is football, which you play from four to five mm. and you back to class. What am I stressing now? That the kind of examinations we have, you know, a student is is, is judged or examined according to how they have passed papers on the class. So the number one goal of that that particular school mm. is to Excel in, 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 in examination. Mm. So their policies are, are, you know, how they operate is effort is put mm. towards past examinations. Mm. That's why it's there in you that these things stop in P4. Yes. P5, P6, P7, you're going to get Then again, yes. Because from P5, P6, you're near in PLP. Mm. So, you know, this is put aside because it's not main business. Mm. So, what we're asking for is that let it also become main business. Yeah, exactly. Let us have exactly. a part mm. where, you know, talent and gift is rewarded even, you know, by, you know, concern what matters. That's like, like science, social studies, and all that. And on your point, yes, these skills should really be put in a because if you include something, those rare, rare skills, mm -hmm. because they are rare now, of course, mm -hmm. all the schools I've attended have not had of maybe the career, mm -hmm. carpentry, play playing, jewelry making, something like that. Secondary. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about primary. But primary, there are those things they should be incorporated in the curriculum. But, and, and they're examined. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm here and I know the exam in mathematics, science, English, and science, mm -hmm. I'll put that when they are, well, they are teaching maybe that skill, I will ignore it. I'll say, I ah, mean, that's not even examined. I'll mm -hmm. say that I don't meet when I sleep. But if I say, yeah, that will give me my D1, mm -hmm. I become attentive. And with that, I even get the skill, I even get the love. Mm -hmm. But if it's not maybe examined or something, people will be like, ah, oh, let's go and play football. Mm -hmm. That thing is even passing time, you know? But if it's really examined, somebody will be like, yeah, let me partition in carpentry, I'll make a chair at the end of the day, I'll get yeah. my maths, yeah. and they get the skill yeah. that yeah. way. Because you see, I think it's really big, 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 big
kind of just like uh, being a doctor. Mm. It is natural. That is why, for example, Uganda's soccer cannot become as good as the others mm. because people realize they have a talent when they are mature. Yeah. You start getting the luxury of playing soccer or being sponsored. So imagine such a student when they've got their football talent in primary level, they develop it. Second, by the time they are the experts. Yes, yes, right. Yes. So uh, where is the problem? The problem is. Yeah, what is it? Yes. Where does it begin from? Man, where is the problem? <laughs> The problem, is, the problem is what could be the solution? The problem is, in one minute, mm. the problem is government neglects these talents from, from, from primary four. They are neglected. Mm. Then from, from all level, you find them there. That's why you see that art is left in primary from people. Mm. But you find, it, you find art in, in all level. Mm. Up university, we have art. Mm. Music is left from B3, singing and dancing. But you find it in, in the Makere University. That means you find it in, 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 in the university, but you left in primary three. Now, how will you begin being perfect here at Macquarie University mm. or in another university at that level of education? But if you have been doing that from the whole of primary mm. and examined and did well, you went to, 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 to your own level, you did the same thing and you passed. As you told Macquarie, won't you be a star? Of course, you will. So that's why the government has done wrong. To ignore them, then again bring them afterwards. As you listen that, for me, I will say, ah, I, 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 I do not bother to do music from my, from my primary, so I cannot offer music in the, in the all level of HSC. I, I left it. And I need the art, all these other things. Then they, what they should only do is they should now renew this curriculum and they should, they should always update it based on the current situation. Mm. Because now technology has gone ahead. And their curriculum is slightly behind technology. That's what I've, I've realized. You see, for me, I'm, I'm based on... Well, when you talk about technology, you think people in your village, they have electricity, you have to give them computers. It, that, you see, it's a question. They don't have. They don't have. But technology doesn't mean less, less buy and put more. So now, okay. Yes. Um, um, is the vote balance when you look at Uganda's education now? If you look at UPE and you also, if you look at private schools, is the vote balance? So when it comes to how the performance is and how, how the teachers are facilitated and also how young people perform in terms of academics. It's, it's, it's two way. For me it is two way. Mm. My, my view is that when it comes to academic performance, who has got in, in private schools mm. are better. But if you want an all round student, mm. one who is, you know, employable, who is all round mm. to go to uh, you know uh, government schools. That is me. That they are told <laughs>
Oh, where yes. does corruption come from? You know why? Uh -huh. That's a very good question. Because as they read the budget, they really put money in the education sector. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it goes? If they get that money, build the government schools, put their facilities for them. Because if I'm a teacher, I'm from the university, mm -hmm. they don't expect me to go to my solo. Mm -hmm. There's no, no electricity, no network, no roads, no shops. You know that fancy life I really need. Because I'm educated, I can stay in the city and work, right? No salary. Yes, yes, first place. No salary. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Don't expect me to go there and teach, go there, I don't eat. I don't get the normal life. Like, I really desire to. Somebody in town. Yes, like somebody in town. I, but if they, they, if they get that money, they put all that very far, you will find very many teachers going there. Because there will be the salary, there will be the, 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 the good environment, there will be the good documentation. But you imagine a teacher there. They resort to, to farming. If they even get the reports and take them to the garden. Yes, because they are not paid. They are not paid at all. So they are like, let me get the student, they dig for me, at least I get somewhere. I get, yes, they are. I get, at least I get some money. So, I think, as the, everything is in the private schools, government should really struggle with the same in those UPE schools. And you see change, I swear. Because there are people there in the village who really have their hearts. Who really feel they, they really need to get that? The nation. Yes, mm -hmm. to get the education, mm -hmm. you get. But if such a kid goes to class, no chairs, no table to write from, even no book. Mm -hmm. You know, there are poverty speaking villages deep down there. Mm -hmm. Why can't you can't afford a book? Only for the pen, you get. The world has an supply. Some books and things. Yes, that's why I'm saying government should fund those mm -hmm. places. Okay. Too much, too much already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one. Yes, too much. What is Go in Nakapiri Piriti. But first we spoke. <coughs> that place, dusty roads, no internet. You have a smartphone, no internet, no electricity, no water. The ball is, I think, like 20 kilometers far. And then you imagine, you go to come and see if you even don't have a chair stable. If you have a book Well, there is just a phone. If you had a book phone. Uh, How dance me, I don't need. Let's, but you teach. let's look here. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your profession? You are a teacher. Yes. You are in government, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You have been deployed to work. Mm. Do you refuse to ban work? Monday. We all study see, because we want now, a good life. You see, we, we are looking at our country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's look at our economy. Mm -hmm. Now, assuming those just in a capital refuse to work now, they all come to Kampala. Mm -hmm. Let's cry about how Uganda will be. It will be very That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It was a question. It was a question. Let's go to the question. We have big pressure here. Yes. I want us to be sensitive because. You see, government things don't, 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 don't flash. You can come in one day. Yes. The government things don't flash. Mm -hmm. we, we are seeing how the nation is. Mm -hmm. We have sung. How is the nation before? The, na you know, the, the nation is not, uh, it, 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 uh, actually, it is not well. <laughs> it is but for the matter of service, because if someone can tell you, I will even I will, I will hire doctors from other countries to come and work. I will bring teachers from other countries. Then, then you go back and hire books. <laughs> but with the with the situation we have now, what do we do? Should you go back and hire books? Better let's be there as we hope better for tomorrow. You know, sometimes let let us not be emotional and and uh, and so. But you should. Mind. I think here is. Mm. Oh, you have a family with five kids. Mm. He, left them, he left them in Kampala where everything is tight mm. from the rent, from the everything, mm. you know. Mm. You go mm. down there and make sure that government gives you, uh, I think, maximum mm. 150. Mm. No, no. Well, well they just uh, uh, they are giving around 390 something. No, this is the point. No, no, that point is, mm. her point is, is you know, not going to be clear. What she's saying is that. Much as you have the call to be a teacher, mm -hmm. I was not going to be a teacher of literature. Mm -hmm. But you see, it is person versus survival. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. amounts and prices of society are living in can, even if it was 500, mm -hmm. sustain a family. Mm -hmm. Can you pay rent? Can, 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 can you get children live? If they got sick with these diseases. Now, Vanessa, if you're not a beautiful person, what we are saying, first this first is the point. The point is, me, uh, we, we are all studying so that we have a good life. Uh -huh. We are all studying to get some money and live well because. Mm -hmm. Now I finish my campus. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have any other skill like you know, you know, so much money in me. Yes. Marriage, we'll expect something at the end of the month. Oh, of course, like, you know, my mom will expect, will expect something. My mom, my dad will expect. My sisters will expect yes. something. Uh -huh. So imagine you send me to store all chicken, all those yes. 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 They're giving me two hundred. Mm -hmm. Is it three hundred? Ah, three hundred. Yes. Three hundred. 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 Sustainability and survival. Yes. I'm not going to teach you in place. Mm -hmm. No, no, what? As you, you are you are graduated, you are a primary school teacher. You are something else. No. You see, so that's why I said, no. I don't think I'm going to answer me. Because yes. for me, I said yes to her question. Mm -hmm. So now, you are a full qualified teacher yes. in government. Your name has been out in a short list mm -hmm. and have been posted in, in Cotido. Mm -hmm. Do you go and work or not? That's why people who go there, they will go there and only attend school on Monday. You see, they are sad. 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 I'm asking. Will you go and work? I'll go there and work. 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 The point here is, if you had a better discussion, you would not a better option for other job, mm. you don't opt to become a teacher mm. because the conditions ah, there yeah, are not well. They're like, yeah. not saying ah, that if, yes. if you are a teacher, you will not teach. That is Monday. not your question. That's teach. why the yes. teachers they send there when they are shortlisted with those government mm -hmm. lists, they go there, attend school on Monday morning, the rest of the days they pick the same kids, give them boys, and they dig it there from so they survive. Now, assume it is you. You have been posted. I have the same. Yes. You have been posted. You have been posted. You have been posted. So let us just go for a break and we are going to come back after uh, this short break and we are going to discuss now employment opportunities for you. Like for education, it can't end now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs>
uh, is two thousand nine. Mm. But that will only employ eight thousand. Eight. Eight thousand. From the eight thousand. Uh, from the forty thousand. From the forty thousand. Forty thousand. It employs eight thousand. Mm. So that is very small. Uh, one, I realize also that the biggest employer is the agriculture sector, maybe followed by public service and you know, the composition. Mm. So people continue to study every year. Mm. So the more people study, the more they shift from agriculture, the subsistence farming. Mm. Uh, they come to streets, they come to schools. Mm. Uh, after they have graduated, they are not going to go back to the agriculture sector. Mm. Okay. They are not going to go and dig. Yet government only has eight eight thousand jobs. You get. Mm -hmm. So the question is, why did the risk go? Mm -hmm. Perhaps we could have thought of industrialization, working with industries and private uh, private businesses. Mm -hmm. But those are very few. Realize that uh, the industrial sector employs around only twenty three percent. But even then, realize that the industrial sector Chinese are dominating. Mm -hmm. They employ the Chinese. But they really employ Ugandans as well. They employ Chinese, the, the, the biggest part, the biggest portion. Mm. It's amazing you find um, the Chinese digging, uh, you know, digging the best parts of the mm. So, So realize that you know, unemployment is, is high and it's still, it's still going to be around unless, unless there is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two it is that the, the kind of education we get is not one that is given to create jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, we are being taught uh, job creation, but you know, how many have the knowledge you know, to go out there and start businesses and for other 40 people? Mm -hmm. Two, realize the biggest companies in the world, Apple, uh, you talk of, uh, you know, these juniors and everything, mm -hmm. that companies that employ the most people are those that result from innovation. Mm -hmm. But are the students that are produced innovators? You know, are our city students, graduates, capable of coming up with, with an innovation that will employ 1,000 people? So, you know, if, if we don't have that, then we shall not solve the, the, the problems of employment. We cannot deny that every country, to some extent, has an employment. But, you know, it have, must have a certain rate that is acceptable. So, one, government has, you know, and education as to equip students with the knowledge of job creation and that of innovativeness. Mm -hmm. Again, government also has put in place policy that favors industrialization. Two, even on the point of industrialization, we think our people should be given priority. Again, it comes to it comes the one the incentives. You find that a foreigner in Uganda is given free land, free everything. You get an investor from outside. But our, our, our local investors, they have to set up that business. Not that they don't have capacity, but the licensing, all that is needed is not given. It's, it is good for government to invest foreign investment, but at what, you know, not at the expense of its own people. So one, I, I think unemployment is a threat, given the growing population of the youth. Uh, and government has responded quickly, and the education sector too has to respond quickly. Then, then when it comes to money, let's be to money. Money, what is the problem of unemployment in Uganda? You need to graduate every day, and government is saying jobs are there, but you don't want to do any data college job, a university college, you want to sit in offices, and also maybe mm -hmm. to pay for cash. Actually, uh, employment, it is uh, a technical one. But most of us, we don't understand what unemployment means. Mm. So we find that in most cases, in, the, in simple terms, it, 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 it's just a state of someone who is qualified and able-bodied hunting for that opportunity and doesn't find it. Mm. So when you look, uh, when you look uh, at Uganda today, there are very many types of unemployment. Mm. Yes. So when you, are, when you go down to uh, in research and see in Uganda basically what is the type of unemployment that you have? Yeah, basically two. Mm -hmm. there, there is the type of unemployment called the friction. Which is? Uh, frictional, this is when someone leaves a job. Uh, intentionally leaving a job without even getting get another job. Mm -hmm. But you decide to leave the job. The other one? Yeah. And also still another frictional is when someone graduates, like me, I'm a but I'm not doing a professional job. Mm -hmm. That is a frictional unemployment. Mm -hmm. 
Then the other one is called the structural unemployment. Uh, hereby, you find someone is a graduated, yes, uh, he has purpose, but the skill that person has, he, uh, the skills don't have an impact on the pro uh, a specific job necessary. Mm -hmm. I'm employed in agriculture, but if I am be given a simple interview, mm -hmm. practical to do, mm -hmm. and I don't have it, but I have a paper. Mm -hmm. So in Uganda today, those are the basic types of uh, unemployment which we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you see the causes of this unemployment today, uh, we have uh, the, the, actually, there are, there are very many, because if you, if you go to a rural area mm -hmm. and you sit down this one and talk to them, there are a lot of problems. They are problems of unemployment. When you come to Kampala and I, and I talk to you, mm -hmm. you will tell me <laughs> you are old also. Yeah. So when you uh, combine them, you find that in most cases, sincerely, uh, yes, corruption is there. Are, and and if, if everyone knows that one. Because I myself, I have ever tried it. Yes. So, no, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I no, I first don't have you, mm. but because of my situation, mm. they told me to support myself. And of course, when <laughs> you see someone sitting there and tells you, now, yes, can you defend yourself? So, for me, I, 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 I don't support because I support myself personally by applying and sitting for interviews. Mm. And I'll pass them here. So now, they're asking me to support myself. So I, 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 I would not because I was not able to. Yeah. Because uh, uh, for me, I, I sold everything for school mm. and I finished. So now, my other friend, he did it. What happened? He, another third guy came in because it was a relationship with the other man behind the drawer and he beat him by just 200,000. Mm -hmm. And he lost the job also. So, you see where things come in. And the, so and the problem is corruption, yes. but jobs are there. This is, yeah. this is what yes. happens in Africa. At some times, <laughs> jobs, are, jobs, jobs are, there, are there, but corruption is the problem. Yes. Then secondly, in the, it is not a national problem. Mm. There is not a lot of privatization in the country. You mm. see, privatization, when, when the nation decides to to, to sell or, or hire out some some incentives to foreigners mm. to to head them and sometimes even to own them for for some good time depending on how they agree. Mm. You see, when I when I talk to you no know, me I like talking to elders. You have one minute. Yes. So mm. they, they tell you that you 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 kids of today, sons of today, mm. if this government was serious, mm. the issue of privatization has tied up because an investor comes with his full executive staff mm. to work. Now you, these other ones, they only need a few mm. to work as, in fact, as, as casual laborers, mm. even if you are qualified, you, qualify, you work in these minor positions, but someone has come with his full staff to work. Now, if it was government nationalizing this kind of issues and they call for for good work. That means more citizens would work in that company in various positions from top to bottom. Even if me have a low paper, at least I can drop it somewhere. And remember, government government jobs are not always so competitive. You have to second, you see. Mm -hmm. So that is basically what I can say about unemployment. The cause of it is uh, we have corruption, we have privatization, we have uh, lack of skills. For these jobs, as I said before, and possibly uh, two people no active towards one. Okay. Yes. Then we come to Vanessa. I want you to look at this unemployment thing on the side of the campaign culture of the people in Uganda. What do you say about it? First and foremost, I think this whole thing mm. runs around education. Mm. Because very many kids today are educated. Okay. Okay, like I'm talking because I'm from this side, from mm. the central side. Yeah. I don't know if there is a lot of people who are not educated and they are also interested in society. Yes. So, in that scenario, imagine a, a child going through school, reaching the university, and coming to a place. Mm. Parents have invested so much money, so much time, so much everything. Mm. So their kid be somewhere in life. But it really hurts. Such a kid sitting there after university, even depending on the parents, even after the university. So I think 
as you talked in the first part, there should be change in the curriculum. Mm. I think that's the best. Mm. Of course, if they get the curriculum and include things like vocational studies, mm -hmm. things like carpentry, jewelry, things like those small, small skills. Where does it an employment thing yes, put in culture? Yes, yes. So, imagine somebody gets out of school when they have no skill, no anything. Mm. They just sit there. But if I get out of school, I leave campus, and be back and I can do something. I can do something small for myself. I, I can do that as I be patient, as I apply somewhere else, you know. Now, if I'm a girl child, and I leave school, I'm jobless. What's the option? I'll get married. No, you just resolve when it comes to you. No. The thing is, if you start struggling in life, like, you know, like the medicine, the assess, no, it's not that. But imagine, you in that scenario, you, you've done school, you've cost so high, mm. no job, because as you see, corruption, tribal, you get everywhere. If, you're, if the manager is maybe, what, Chiga, mm. they want to, the board of directors will be full of Bachiga. Mm. The workers will be full of Bachiga. Does that happen in Uganda? Yes, yeah. of course, it does. It does happen in Uganda. Mm -hmm. It does mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a girl child, I come and apply. I don't get a job. Mm. Even the selfish men who, who end up saying, you know what, you're guy, what what? Yeah, Let's meet in the evening. Things like you things of that <laughs> yes, things <laughs> of that nature. Because mm. some girl may be so discouraged. Mm. They're like, I really need the job. Mm. Maybe the job is, is paying you eight hundred thousand mm. and you imagine back home your father doesn't have money, your mother everything they're all looking up to you. Yeah. And now you have the opportunity, the man behind the, the door is mm. telling you, you know what? For me to give my job, I'm Yes, yes. For me to give my job, they don't even say, my help pay. Yeah. They say, to get your job, that sum of pay is mainly for the boys. Okay. Well, give me something. For the girls. Yes. For the girls, they'll say, I, I need to meet you in the evening. And you know what that means? So, when they, when they, so they, they tell me, they're all doing, you need to discuss something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. And then they have to put their papers, the man will look at you and be like, hmm, not a job. So like, yes, sir. You, you pass so well, everything is really perfect. You have the, the experience, then you are really a suitable candidate. Mm. But I want to be like, let's meet in the evening. So they have to do so, you don't have a job. So if you move from that office, you got another one, like 12 more. Mm. When That's the only thing. And when you may be a strong will, you don't do such a thing, mm. or you can't give in so fast. You sit, you sit home, no skill. Nothing like me, like me do some cutting care support me. No girls. Girls always need money. A girl always needs money. Yeah. Then you get the who gives you to cover anything. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. So <laughs> that's 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 you're completely down. Mm. Girls will give in so that they get the job. And after they get the job, the man will say, to return you here. I have to see you every weekend. So imagine such a thing. The girl will live in. You thought it was going to be for one Yeah, uh -huh. You thought it was for You got a job. You're so excited. Everybody's happy. You've got the job paying you 800000 mm -hmm. So now here yeah, you're losing the chance because the man is telling you every weekend, I need you. So such mm -hmm. a girl will be like, no. Yeah, let, me mm -hmm. let me give up. Such a girl will sit there, get married, start giving birth to very many children, mm -hmm. not taking care of the family. The parents will be there like, hey, you spent our money on that girl. You know, that thing. But if there was, Girls, education, skills, in it, mm. people should be skilled. Somebody can say, oh, I can do that, I can do this, at least. If I'm doing public health, I graduate, I can do my jewelry. Mm. I can get my bids, at least I, I, I know, at least I can sell each bid 5,000 a day, you know? Okay. I at least have something to survive. I think I'm going to say, what time is that? You have something to say. Uh, um, you want to say something? I wanted one, mm. about the corruption. Mm. Uh, you know, in Africa, it has actually become acceptable. <laughs> they, they have yes, yes. 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 In Africa, when, when corruption favors you, mm. they call it connection. Mm -hmm. you know? um, if, if you visit the parliament, mm. you realize that when, when you reach on the floor, mm. there are different languages. The, the secretary is there, the person who receives you. Mm. If they are speaking in Musonga, mm. you know that the, the, the office are inside, the MBO speaker there mm. is a Musonga. Mm. When you reach a floor where, where maybe the person tells you communication is from the north, mm. everyone there is speaking. Mm. That's that, 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 that particular language. Mm. So you see everyone <coughs> wants to employ their own. Mm. I mean, why, why does, why does it, it merit? Mm. Why does it merit? Why does that? Yes, yes. 
That's why, if I'm the, the, maybe the head teacher of some school, yeah. I'll go there in my village and say, mm, my friend Sam has a son. Mm. My, that son did some education mm. and employ them. Oh, right, that's, that son of Sam mm. is not even qualified. qualified. Mm. And that's how, that's how people end up <coughs> pulling things down. Because for you, you want to employ those people. So sister, oh, that's even qualified. Because you have people who are not qualified. Yes, yeah, so who are not supposed to be there. Because of tribalism. Be like me, I'm a Muganda, only employee in Uganda. Mm. You know? The Uganda yes, becomes a Uganda community. Who are not even qualified to be in the positions? Living qualified people there, leaving them jobless. So really, corruption is very, is very rare to see. It is evident. But going back to the education system, one of you know these things the president was saying, if you should actually be trying to do that. You know, we have people are different because I, I put free school and everyone is going to be nice. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so, 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 we have people who are going to work. Mm. The question right. is, are the jobs there? Mm. You know, but they, they say the jobs are there. Pardon? But they don't the describe it. No, what we are saying is this, mm. that even the jobs that are there, mm. those that are there, mm. if, you, if you get them through corruption, through surrendering yourself, being vulnerable, the education system in Uganda teaches us to be job seekers, to be job creators. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. job teaches us to be to seek the jobs. If I finish campus, I'm like, I have to be yes, office, 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 mm -hmm. look for a job. I can't sit there and I'm like, let me say something. something small. Mm -hmm. You know, there's developed countries, you find a child 15 years old, yes, they can do something. Right. They can come up with something. They have at least an idea. But you, in this school, they said, Pass the exams, go. Pass, go. Pass, go. You know, get the marks, pass the exams, and go. But that's not giving us the skills. But that is what we've been told from home. Uh, like all what you're so much for you to go and read, and they say, "Bring your own money." Yes, that's why they're here. Yeah. And they'll never look for your job, and they'll never tell you what's going on. They'll give that you a room. You've been here. Yes. The thing is, me, me, I don't admit to be a lawyer. You know, you told me what is minimum, but after you graduate, I'm going to pay a lot of things. I'll put you somewhere. We we'll create our own thing. You know that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. so, so before we Because come, this mm -hmm. curriculum of ours doesn't really instill in us that thing. We do history to some of Napoleon. We do things like that, you know? We do Hitler, we do things like that. They don't at least give us space to. Even, even if you do entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. they don't really put in the practical bits. They put in the Yes, we do the entire bits, but not the practical bits. Because some, a family somewhere can't sit down and be like, I can start frying granites. They really have to have the idea. Leadership gears, yeah, they are saying yes. you know, money. Okay. But where is the problem? Basically, for me, you say corruption, you I, say I, what? I, I, have, uh, I have the next two points. I'm very fast. One, this government, has, uh, this government is doing mistakes and it's still doing mistakes. Is uh, the problem uh, government or us? You see, uh, I have two points. One, mm -hmm. to, to, to the government and Mm. One on government. This government uh, 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 sometimes have done mistakes to give handouts. You see, once you give handouts, for us to consume. But if you are a serious government, you have to encourage entrepreneurship, basically. You know, for me, I, uh, in, in the words, I want to go down to this thing. It is people who have tried so much. Someone sewing clothes and mending shoes, cobblers, you know. So those people don't only give them money. Don't say, we are giving them a hundred million to, to boost their business. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so what? A hundred million? Yes, so but it is. what have you done? You you said, to we need to calm down, talk to these people, educate them on how to start good business. Two, if they are started, teach them how to handle business, how to manage that business they are doing. Yeah? Secondly, to maintain the business going. Yes, they can do it, but they need actual knowledge and guidance to, to, to do that business. Uh, on the other side, we have uh, poor guidance and counsel. Uh, after school, uh, for us, I'm from a village. I, 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 I don't know what to do, but I'm just there. Mm -hmm. So I also say, since I like, I like people who fix pipes, I think mm -hmm. I should also fix pipes. <laughs> yeah? Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah, now I go, to a, I go to a technical school, bigger admission, I ask them, I need this course the six months. 
no problem. But yeah, yeah, I, 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 I need the course with the fixed pipes. <laughs> what about fixing? The, you know, it's called plumbing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that one I want. Yeah. A parent and a little parent pays fees because a parent hopes you are, you are better than him. <laughs> you see? So now, for you can do plumbing. So the parents are now parents who are not educated. And no! Why yeah. does that cancel you? From where? From school or from home? From, from school? No, from no. Please, please. A parent does not. It's called plumbing. This is the <laughs> government has to come in. Go to oh. school. No, school. Government should should come in to sensitize students in schools. Man, yes. Let's be realistic. Yes. The parents are there to guide you. Government is no. to provide medical my, services and put the school in service. My father. My father, my father ended in P4. <laughs> my mother didn't serve P1. Uh -huh. How can they get me about plumbing? How can they get me through these courses? You get but the school will be better than from the community to guide you. Please, I'm the first born, I'm the only educated person now. <laughs> you see, look at that. Look at that. You want to guide the rest. You see, you see no, you see, see what, what I'm trying to say is the government, together with the, its partners, mm -hmm. they must come together. We have a straight foundation, we have Red Cross, and they are just that more into NGO world. Like their, their work is to but very poor when it comes to health wise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those are all kinds of things what they are doing. Eh? But they need more encouragement. And coming you have uh, always a senior man teacher sometimes and and the but senior man teaching women teacher is functional school and and you have the district education officer and his staff working along that's a problem. But what I'm, I'm telling you, what they're I'm people. telling you what they're supposed to do to put us right. You see, that is a weakness. But I'm telling you that that is what they're supposed to do to guide us. I don't have to have to focus on too much about Kampala. Me, I'm talking balancing the boat. Let us see the village. Yeah? Where? I, where I, I am born of that place, I, will, I go to school primary in that place, secondary in that place, I take in that place, I do not, I just hear about Kampala. Okay, now, how can I, I, how can I achieve my future? So, that guidance from, from the school, the school has the authority to invite sensible people mm. who have gone ahead to come and talk to us. They need to be facilitated. You know, oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. So, let's get inside. Something is not from his submission, I think, mm. about you know, government way of doing things. But you see, you see, government must have systems that operate. Mm -hmm. You get, you know, why would the president move around with the sacks of money and just close them away like that? I mean, because but but when it comes, when it, exactly, exactly, yeah. I'm trying to get a better way. But you have a Minister of Gender, Labor, and, you know, development. development. Mm -hmm. How about we put in place systems of how to have this money, you know, reach the down person, but when it is fractured, when it's through a system that want to get money, productive. so want to get money, we should have gone through this process. You know, that, that you know, okay, we want to boost coffee. Mm. So let us channel this money to coffee farmers, and they do this. Instead of someone moving with money, millions of money, and just give them out. Because if they put money into the system, it won't reach the, the, the person who so the You see, exactly what you're talking about. That's why it goes on giving people. That is a weakness. Okay. But, you see, so, but you see what you're doing is finding shortcuts and excusing government. Mm -hmm. Government's role too is, is to cover the corruption, to implicate people who, who steal the money. Government can't have yeah. the corruption. Yeah. But so, what has government done? Even yeah. those who have stolen money, yeah. have they been reprimanded? Mm -hmm. You get I will tell you, a means regime you can say it killed people, but corruption was done. So that shows you that if government really is interested in any corruption, it can actually do it. So one, we shall not excuse government from doing what is rightly supposed to be done because mm -hmm. they are going to steal money. So what? Why, why do we vote for you? Why do we pay taxes? You get it. So, so government has to get out of comfort zone so one, fight corruption, to utilize systems. Two, three. The president must must depreciate public service from politics. A time when you're supposed to be, you know, you know, uh, give, giving people what to do, you're, you're utilizing that, you know, to campaign. We are looking at Operation North Korea. So. Mm. Well, you know, we, we need to see what is coming out. But when he says he's going for two us, he's giving out, mm. he's seeking for endorsements for the next election. But this is not just the president himself. We are saying all the leaders in different capacities should should you know. Be a result oriented, not just politics, the whole day. And, and I think commercialization of politics has also you know, blundered because you know, politicians don't create jobs. When they come up to seek the election, they don't have created these jobs. 
what they know is that I'll give out beer, I'll, I'll give free fuel to, uh, to motorcycle, but they're, they're people are really elected. So that, that summarizes the whole problem. So all that is more into politics than anything else. It, it has nothing else. It has you know, politics and corruption. <laughs> yes. So the, 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 the problem, Miller is the problem. Like nowadays, we are more into betting, we are more into border blur riding, we are more into snatching people's bags and everything. That, that shows that, that they, is have, the problem. That shows that they don't have an option. Someone who has what to do, why would they go for betting? You know, what, what you get the time to do You mean like they, they, they lose hope and the only hope they see is going to have what some they government has failed to plan for this thing. You see, if if it's a government, you plan for if it's a government, mm. you will not be even talking about extending retirement age at this time of the night. <laughs> if it's a serious government, because it is meant to work for the next person who is moving out. Mm -hmm. But again, the person is saying, let's extend more years. Yes. Mm -hmm. The same person is sitting there. So, so, so uh, yes. I, 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 don't know. I know the youth have problems also on their yes. side, but government also has to do something to, 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 to clean its name the before pointing the youth. Mm -hmm. But in summary, for me, what this government should do is, first of all, take, take mm -hmm. nationalization as something serious. Mm -hmm. When things are, national, uh, are nationalized, let government use the right structures to deliver services. Don't carry on dinner and come here. Say you have this money. Mm -hmm. Don't don't take government programs into your office. Operational education, if it was a, a good program, it would be under the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Nerves fail because of poor management. Mm -hmm. Poor allocation of funds. How do you give seventy percent of NAD to, to presentation? Then the thirty percent to the farmers. Now what happens? I go for a meeting. I come with five hundred. Mm. Now, what will the farmer do? So, government failed to plan their program. That is not the thing. And you blame the uh, people are like this. How can the government come up with such a program without being programmed for? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because poor planning. planning. That's what I'm Maybe saying. Maybe they plan poor. That's what I'm saying. Poor planning. Yeah. That, 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 that came on and gave people pins. Yes. It's biting up people pins. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's poor that's planning. Is. Because, Sam, let me tell you, this is, this is the reality. You know, in my village. Yes, Sam, Sam, in my village, I'm going give you this. The simplest reality in just 30 seconds. Mm. They, they, they supplied oranges just last year mm. in, in November. You know how they supply? A fuso comes to our yes. supplier headquarters, they bring 20,000 oranges. They tell you, some how many do you want? Take. 30. Take. 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 Now, you see, lastly, and you are doing like that, and you are doing a fruit factory in Soroti. And I don't even know. Now, they are opening a fruit factory, but there is no fruit to run the factory. Is that a serious government? Tell me, sir, is that a serious government? If they are really paying for employment, they are putting oh, 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 and don't put the factory on the landlords without the raw to run it. Even the people in the groups plant things in, in heaven. Because they say in a day it takes about 10,000 tons of, of, of oranges. Now, who should produce these oranges? That means me, an agricultural graduate, government must come in to sensitize us, use me a graduate, to talk to my other, other colleagues in the village who don't go to school. I come up as a leader, we work together, we work together, grow oranges, and yes, that is what I'm thinking now. You know what, the thing is, yes. you don't expect government, if you graduate daily, right? Mm -hmm. You can find material maybe get like a thousand of people, mm -hmm. lawyers, mm -hmm. teachers, doctors. Yeah. So if it gets 10,000 doctors, do you think they're all going to be doctors there and then? You don't have to get some skill. If you want better than that, then you can do something to survive. That's why people are resorting to killing others. People are resorting to killing others. That's why you are going on a year. It is killing an option. And then you have to take it as an option. Because you feel they don't have any skill. No, imagine. No, it's not an option. Killing is not an option. But you're bad ways. No. You're bad ways. You're bad ways. You have to survive. Like, you've been at some bus repairs have been providing for you. They give you up here. They give you rent. They give you everything. So here, you get out there. You have to get your own rent, mm. which can be maybe moderately 200,000. You have to feed yourself, you have to survive in some way with the other. Mm. Even people give birth at campus, so you imagine maybe you have a baby somewhere. Mm. Mm. So imagine that kind of thing. You, you have no skill, you can't maybe cut and fit. You have pride, you, you are proud of yourself, you're like me. I can't do that, you know. I can't make candles, I can't do liquid soap, mm. I can't do something to survive. Where do you think that such a person will live? They want a lifestyle. They want a lifestyle that's really posh. They want everything. Those people will resort to killing you after you leave now here. I live in when you went, you go back to your place. <laughs> they will, they will get you near your place and kill you because they want money. There, there is 
the they have rescued, they can't survive you know, anywhere. Yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. True. True. Desperate measures. True. Desperate measures. But something he talks about government um, prioritizing. Yeah. This budget, uh, the, the budget for parliament is 3.9 mm -hmm. times more than that of tourism. Mm -hmm. Remember, tourism is the biggest foreign earner, and, and it impresses a lot of people, those who do weaving, yeah. you know, cultural dance. Mm -hmm. So, we really don't you think if government you know, utilizes this a sector that has potential, is it a priority? You know, a lot of jobs will be created. And that's what we are saying that government is in itself a problem. Then, two, we also have to understand the book, like he says, that you know, I, I want to live a post life. I think even the population must understand that the, that, that the conditions are in are not good and adjust. But then the other thing is that you know, corruption has to be a formative action. As I conclude, the issue of retirement is a more current population, mm -hmm. where you have a population, a youth population that is growing, and then you say they're increasing retirement. When is, what are you trying to do? So they shouldn't increase retirement. Once of day, when they're waiting to die. They're waiting for their young. Yes, you wait for them to die. They are going to die. Anyway, they are going to die because if they don't die, the people who are desperate will kill them. Sure. Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, I think as I said, all, education is the root of everything there mm. in this scenario because if education is not changed, as we've been talking about the skills, the talents, beats, everything, we shall all go on with the pass and go theme. Pass and go. Get your results, pass and go. And go and go. And face that other fresh world, you know. But if somebody came, comes from down there, mm. the secondary level, they can maybe make a small chair. Mm. They can make a candle. They can make a, a bucket of liquid soap. Mm. I swear, somebody with the skills can't fail in life. Sometimes I feel like it's more, it goes back to society and they're coming from. Nobody motivates yes. the other. Yes. Even, the society, so even the schools. You can't compare somebody who stays in Nyanga to the person who stays in Yes. Yes. And the even person the who stays in Mikiri to the person who stays in maybe in Nyanga or Hill. Yes, of course. Even the schools themselves, the school even the parents. Even the parents. Sometimes, me, I grew up with my dad. So, if I give you this money, and if, 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 if I give 100 mm. at the start of the term, I'll be still again on video. Mm. But I need on 100, you give me 30,000. Yes, that, 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 that's your saving. Mm. And if you give him 30,000 as your saving, he would multiply it by two and keep it for you. That's a 60. So he is still in us, that saving thing. So imagine somebody who's been saving, you have that background, that's really nice, your parents talk to you, mm. you know, they, they encourage you. They, they, oh, yes. Some parents don't care. Yeah, some parents don't care. They, they so don't know that's it. Yes. So, 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 so imagine, mm. no career guidance at all, no career guidance at school, no skill at school, no, no skill at all, at all, the mm. maid cooks, yes. the maid does everything. So you go to school, you just pass and pass and pass. Okay, imagine imagine <laughs> such a... Such, the system okay. is there. Okay, the system is there. Now, okay, now, Monday. Mm. Yes, In just two words, mm. what, what do you think about the salary of our MPs? Uh, of our MPs? Is it normal for them to have all, be having all that sums of money? When some of you, you who are graduate, you don't have employment, mm. and they are given mm. cars, everything is being catered for them. Uh, In only two words. In two words. Mm. I don't see it good. Mm. Let the government serve the people. Mm. But not, let not government facilitate the servants mm. too much to serve the people. Because mm. if you are facilitated with those, mm. you will relax. Well, when you look at our employment today in Uganda, do you think government has, has tried itself best to make an employment, unemployment dies so that people get employed? It's only two ones. Having said that, I think government may have done something, but it has not done enough. So what has it done? Something. To some extent, we will have to go at that. See, first come and say government has done totally nothing, mm. it would be lying. Yeah. Because we have people that are getting mm. We are saying government is doing not enough. Mm. It needs to multiply it for mm. yeah, sure. What would you like to advise our government? And so what would you like them to change? Mm. I would love the government to fund schools there, mm. because schools are here. Because if, if they put facilities in those schools in the villages, bomb, very many yeah, are yes, yes. well, so you get unemployed schools. teachers from here, getting mm. jobs there, because the conditions will be favorable. Mm. Like, no, nah, yeah, I can work in Kabo, mm. I can work in Kapchura, I can work in Nakapilipili. Mm. Reason being, there are the facilities. The environment is suitable for me to work, mm. to get. Mm? I can go there, teach, and get a good life. My child is coming.
you go into that teach me. If I like, so mm. any government should be work on that. Mm. Should find there. And even there is this thing of tribal. Mm. So I think these graduates must be the they have some technology skills, mm. they can use the computers, phones, right? I think some opportunities that come. So we proceed. <laughs> like lastly, me my last words will be whatever that you do, you the government and support the people of Uganda. You will be accounted. People will need, like the, the country is so full. People are going to die, people are going to have good facility, the terms of hospitals, schools. Like whatever you do today, it will affect your sons and daughters in the future. So whatever you are doing to this the ghetto kids today, the unemployed youth, they're the ones who are going to kill you, they're the ones who are going to be told to go and steal, you know, start smash your back or take your phone, anything will happen, and they're the ones who are going to be in riots in town. So make sure that government, like they have been saying, government, make sure that you pray your Lord, and also the youth, pray your Lord, stop dating, look for something, do something in the community which is productive, and live a healthy life. Thank you so much, like we could not, End, but we have to end. Thank you so much. See you soon next time.